Hey guys, today I'm back with another video and I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Minecraft server on the new 1.19.2 version of Minecraft. Uh, this installation will work with even newer uh, or older versions, so don't worry if you're trying to run a different version. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using the vanilla 1.19.2 jar. Uh, if you want a spigot, bucket, or any other type of jar, you could go on their website, download it, then just literally run through the exact process we're running. To start, before we begin, I just want to let you know, if you don't want to go through all this hassle and just want to be able to, you know, start your server, get people on, one click, no port forwarding, no downloading shit, simply, I recommend Rocket Node, which is, in my opinion, the best Minecraft server hosting, starting at $1 a month. You know, you get access to the plugin installer, version changer, mod manager, super cool looking panel. You know, you can install mods, plugins, change versions, all from their panel without having to install a single thing on your computer. So, that's all I want to let you know. Uh, I highly recommend them. If you want 25% off your first month, you could use that code above. But now to begin, so what we're going to want to do to start, we're going to want to go to Minecraft uh, Server Jar. And it should be the first one right here. You'll see, download the Minecraft Server Jar. Before we download it, the one thing we're going to need is uh, Java uh, Development Kit version 17. So let's just look up Java 17 download, first link. And, you know, we're running a Windows, so we're going to click that. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. But you guys would just click this, click next, 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 run to the install. Once that's done, X out of that, and we could come back to the Minecraft server jar. And we're going to click download here. So now what you want to do is make a folder on your desktop and name it. You can name it Minecraft server, whatever you want. And then we're going to simply drag that there. Yours should just say server. So I'm just going to make it. That's just because I installed it before to test it out. So now all we're going to do is double tap this jar. All that's going to pop up. No GUI is going to pop up because we still have to um say yes to the eula so now we're going to double tap that change this false to true file save and now we're going to click on the server jar and we should be good to go let that load give it a sec it just went on my other monitor but here's what it looks like give it a few give it like a minute to prepare the world you know one thing i like about using rocket node is everything's instant but, you know, this is the best way to do it for free. So while that's loading, we're going to go to open our Minecraft launcher. This version obviously is 1.19.2. If you wanted to install a spigot or whatever jar, you could simply go to just look this up. There you go. It's right here. That's your spigot jar for 1.19.2. You know, in the same process for every single version. So let's go to our 1.19.2 version. Let that do its thing. Uh, spawn area loaded on the server, so we're good to go there. So yeah, if you wanted to add plugins, you would make a plugins folder, and you just have to make sure your server jar can run plugins. Um, to make the server public, you're going to need to port forward it, which I'm not going to show you in this video because it's it's not great, and you know it it opens the world to have access to your router and network. So that's another reason why I recommend something like Rocket Node because, you know, everything's on their infrastructure and they have, you know, commercial grade networking that's supposed to handle multiplayer, which you could 100% do it. But, you know, due to what it could do to your, you know, network and people could attack it, whatever, I'm not going to show you that in this video. Um, let that load. All right. So now to connect, I mean, we could literally just go to uh, add server. And we'll just type localhost. This should work. There we go. That's our Minecraft server. Go on it. There we go. We could op ourselves if we want. Oops. Don't mind the Minecraft account. This is not mine. Alright. Oops. Now we're in creative. Yeah, so that's pretty much your Minecraft server there. You know, it's very easy to do. So, you know, say you want to change something like the name, um, you would simply just go into the Minecraft server 
file folder whatever uh, server properties and here is where you could literally edit everything about the server from what type of game mode it is the name we'll name this cyber green and restart it and see if it takes place you know all this stuff you could turn command blocks on allow flying all that jazz oops let's save this uh, simply close it and then reopen it I mean it's really this easy it's not not difficult you know but it, it does get difficult when you try to add like you know 50 100 plugins in it and you know take some time but yeah you see there you go it says cyber green you know even if you had a rocket node server all this is doable from inside their startup tab of the panel no file access necessary all very easy and simple but you know there you go that was a quick tutorial on how to make your own minecraft server again you could port forward in your router. It varies uh, by your network provider, how it how the panel looks and how to, uh, you know, exactly port forward. But, you know, that was it, and I hope you enjoy. And if you want to watch any of my other videos, go for it. I appreciate it. Have a good one.